Hello everyone, welcome back to my Kim Corner. So in today's video, we are going to do question number 11.13. Under this question, we have three subdivisions. We need to show the synthesis of three things here. Okay. So the first one says, you need to prepare one phenyl ethanol from a suitable alkene. Alright, so let's, before we start the preparation, let's draw the structure for this. So we are solving the first one. We need to prepare one phenyl ethanol. So this is a phenyl ring bonded to ethanol at carbon number 1. Let's first draw the molecule ethanol. Here we have ethanol as CH3, CH2, OH. Right, this is ethanol. Now it says one phenyl. So at the first carbon over here, you should draw a phenyl ring. So for that, I am removing one hydrogen and I am going to bond a phenyl ring. So this is going to be one phenyl ethanol. Now if I have to get this from an alkene, that means to say that I am trying to add OH. This OH is extra and one hydrogen here is extra. That is why you are finding this uh, formation of alcohol from a double bond. And we know that from a double bond, if you want to form an alcohol, the molecule should follow Markovnikov's rule. Alright. So, between these two carbons, I am just going to put a double bond and remove the OH group. So, here I will put CH2 double bond, CH and I am having a benzene ring. So, I have my starting material which is an alkene. Now, from here to go to the alcohol, all that I need is acid hydrolysis because this is going to follow Markovnikov's rule where the OH will bond to the carbon that contains least number of hydrogen atom and the hydrogen from water goes to the other carbon. So this rule here is followed which is it is called as Markovnikov's rule. Now, second one is cyclohexyl methanol using an alkyl halide by an SN2 mechanism. SN2 mechanism here clearly tells us that we are not going to have any tertiary alcohol, tertiary alkyl halide. Instead, we are going to have as a primary or a secondary one. So, instead of that, let us draw the product given here. It says cyclohexyl methanol. Methanol, what is the formula for methanol? It is basically CH3OH. But it says cyclohexyl, which means the cyclohexyl group is bonded to the carbon. So let's remove one hydrogen here. This will become CH2 and I will have a cyclohexyl ring bonded to that carbon. Now this I need to prepare from an alkyl halide. So very simple thing. If I have to prepare from an alkyl halide, just change this OH to a halogen. That's all. So I'll just draw the cyclohexyl group and I get CH2 and a halogen. Now from here, if I have to move to an alcohol, it is a very basic nucleophilic substitution reaction by an SN2 mechanism. You just need a nucleophile OH- and you can convert it. Alright, that is the second one. Now, last one, the third one is you need to prepare pentane 1 all using suitable alkyl halide. Same way here also. Pentane 1 all is 5 carbon chain with a OH group on the first carbon. So, I am drawing the pentane 1 all. Okay, so I have 5 carbon. This has to be prepared from an alkyl halide. Same thing here. I'll just change it to a halogen. So I have CH2, CH2 and the Cl. Basically, the Cl has to change to OH. So I'm going to put a OH- minus here. Alright, both these OH- minus are an aqueous medium, which means they are having nucleophilic substitution reaction. Alright, so anytime you get questions like this, always first draw what is the product or reactant given to you in the question, then proceed how to find the uh, answer for it.